Hello and welcome to this short introduction to international humanitarian law. We're here today because your commanders asked our organization to guide you through IHL, or what you might call the laws of war. Okay, so what it really comes down to is this. One, only engage combatants. Two, don't attack anything other than military targets. Three, spare civilian persons and property. And four, limit destruction to what your mission requires. Simple, right? Look, we know on the ground the situation can be messy. And for that reason, we now encourage you all to familiarize yourselves with the information we've set up around you. Be sure to try out our VR simulations at the three stations. Instructors will be available online to help you through. Good luck. Is this guy for real? I bet he's never even seen combat. Our mine simulation is all about ERW, explosive remnants of war. All right, let's get started with a case study simulation. Your objective here is to move through each room, dealing with enemy combatants in an appropriate manner. I'll be providing feedback all the way, but keep in mind the color of the entities you encounter. Now, this is important, so listen carefully. Red is hostile, green is friendly, purple is civilian. So, if that's all clear, let's jump in. Virtual guns at the ready, go. Hold fire. Form staggered column. Remember to check your targets. Not all situations are what they seem. Your ROE is to hold fire until fired upon. Notice that we're also highlighting your projectile paths. You'll see how quickly ricochets or material penetration can cause unintended casualties. So watch out. Ready to fire! Ready to fire! By participating in combat directly, this civilian's protective status has been revoked. Area clear! That's not a smart move. Searching the room. Check every corner. The room is clear. Keep moving. Our healthcare workers were able to safely do their jobs. You successfully handled some very complex issues. Armed civilians can be incredibly problematic. No other civilian casualties. Good.
Searching the room. Check every corner. That's a protected symbol. Are you sure they're a threat? Fall back. Seventy-five meters. Left, right. Out. Copy that. Keep searching the room. Check every corner. Move 75 meters. Front. Copy that. Return to formation. That's all for this room. Even unarmed military medics are protected. Good job letting them proceed. You made the right call letting injured and unarmed soldiers live. Nice one. Treating prisoners humanely is important. Move up. Copy. Ready. Move up. Copy. 
Contact, man. Contact, car. Guarding civilians is one of the most important laws of armed conflict. Right Make sure you inspect all the corners. corners. Front. Return to formation. Search every corner. Nothing more to do in this room. Move on. Our healthcare workers were able to safely do their jobs. Journalists often put themselves in harm's way, it's true, but that was perfectly done. The enemy used human shields against you, illegally, but you avoided unnecessary casualties. Hmm, it's all about avoiding civilian loss of life though. That's it for this sim. We hope you've gained some valuable experience. But, remember, reality can be even more complex.